Hello guys, welcome to another chapter of this Kotlin tutorial. So today we are going to learn about enums in Kotlin. With the evolution of programming languages, the usage and application of enums have also advanced. Enum constants today aren't just mere collection of constants. They can have properties, implement interfaces and much more. So let's see how we can define an enum. So I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to name it as card type so class card type so in order to create an enum class just prefix enum before the class so it will become an enum enum type so inside the card type I'm going to define three variables or three constants if you see so it will be silver, uh, gold, and platinum. Since we have defined uh, enum type, let's see how we can initialize enum constants. Enums in Kotlin, just like in Java, can have a constructor. Since enum constants are instances of an enum class, the constants can be initialized by passing specific values to the constructor so I'm going to create a new constructor here and I'm going to pass uh, something called a color type or a color which is uh, basically just I'm going to specify color values to the various card types so it is showing some errors here because it wants that parameter here now so I'm going to pass colors as silver as in grey, gold must be yellow in color and platinum I'm going to pass black. Uh, these are just demo colors only. Cool. So we define the constructor and pass the specific parameter into it. So let's see how we can access uh, the exact parameter or exact card type and its color from a main method. So I'm going to the main method now. Let us create an object of card type. Or oh, we can actually directly get the colors now. Card type dot uh, platinum dot color. So let's print it as well. Print the color. Cool. Let's run it now and see. So it says the color of platinum card type is black, which I which we already defined here. So for in order to the testing purpose, uh, let's check one more color now. Color two is equal to card type dot gold dot color. So it must be uh, yellow. The result must be yellow, right? Let's see if it is correct or not. So we got black and yellow as well. So that's why that's how we defined and initialized enum card type we can define specific enum constant behavior by creating them as anonymous classes constants then need to override the abstract functions defined within the enum definition for example for each card type we may have different cashback calculations right so i'm going to create a new abstract function and i'm going to name it as calculate cashback percentage which returns a float so it is showing errors because it needs to override this abstract function right so i'm going to override it now gold as well and platinum and we should uh, finish it by adding a semicolon here so it it, it expects a calculate cashback percentage so for silver I'm going to give it as hmm, 
0.25s and for yellow I'm going to give it as 0.5s and for black I'm going to give it as 0.75f good now let's see how we can access the calculate cashback percentage from the main method so I'm going back to the main method now and I'm going to check uh, cashback percentage of silver is equal to hmm, card type dot silver dot calculate cashback percentage right and I'm going to print it I'm specifically finding out the cashback percentage of silver card type silver so let's run it now so it says 0.25 let's see if it is correct for silver we have given it as 0.25 so it is absolutely correct now so in the same way we can find out the cashback percentage of gold and platinum as well finally let's see how we can implement interfaces in the enum uh, let's say there is an i card limit interface which defines the card limits of various card types so i'm going to create a new interface and i'm going to name it as i card limit so it has a method called uh, get card limit uh, which returns an integer value so I'm going back to the card type enum type and I'm going to implement this interface which is i card limit so it's showing some errors because all these enum constants will have to override the method or it has to define the uh, method mentioned in the i card limit so I'm going to implement the member here gold as well and platinum so uh, like this I'm going to return value such as the card limit so it will be around 10,000 here and it will be around 20,000 here and it will be around 30,000 here so like we did earlier let's see how we can uh, access the card limit of each card type so I'm going back to my main method so here uh, the card limit of gold I'm going to check equal to card type dot exactly we did earlier so gold dot uh, it says get card limit right so I'm going to print the value here card limit of gold so let us run it now and see if it is getting correctly or not so it says 20,000 so let's see if it is correct get card limit of gold was 20,000 right so in the same way we can find out the card limit of silver as well as platinum I really hope we were able to learn something about enums today so as you all know enums is a special data type that allows a variable to hold a value only from a set of predefined constants. So in the next chapter, we will learn about what all are sealed classes in Kotlin. So until then, stay safe and goodbye.